Hello everyone and happy the first week of 2021. We at Unity in Greensboro are preparing for a burning bowl service uh, this Saturday. We are going to do it in person because there's just something about burning that paper. But here's the caveat to that. In order to do this in-person service, which will be the first in-person thing we've done since March of 2020, it is so vitally important that everyone be committed to being COVID safe. That means a mask is mandatory. If you can't wear the mask, please don't come. We'll give you some other options of how to burn your list. Uh, being distanced from one another is mandatory. If you don't think you can be there and wave and set a hug, please don't come. We will give you some other options to burn your list. In order to do this in person, it is so very important to me and our community that we do this in the safest, way possible. And the safest way possible meaning maybe even doing more than is necessary because that to me seems better than doing less. Okay, so now that I got that very important message out about it, here's what I am inviting you to do. We've mentioned it a few times, but I wanted to give it its own little video. Uh, take out a piece of paper, write on it some kind of a releasing prayer. That is what we're doing with the burning bowl. Uh, we have a prayer typed. I don't memorize prayers all that often. So uh, I can tell you that basically write that um, your dear God, right? Because you're doing this uh, in partnership with God, the whole thing, the releasing and then the claiming that we're going to do in the letter. For the burning bowl, you're going to write down on a piece of paper, dear God, I am in this moment releasing all that doesn't serve me. I am in this moment releasing all that isn't serving me in this moment. Moment, 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 right? Just that's what we're talking about. Whatever is doesn't feel good, doesn't feel like it's serving us now, we're releasing that. So write that prayer in your own words. Don't write what I say. Write what feels right in your communication with God. I am releasing this from my life because right now it doesn't feel like it's serving me. And then start making your list. I invite you to do this as early as possible so that you can take the rest of this week to kind of keep adding to it when you think of stuff. An example, procrastination. It always makes it on my list and then it finds its way back into my life. So I got to keep doing a better job on actually completely letting my hands go and not grabbing back hold of it, right? So uh, write down your list, the things that, uh, the, the not people, because even if it's a person that you're like, I got to get this person out of my life. It's not that person. There's something about that relationship. There's a negativity in there that you, you want to release negativity, right? Uh, you want to release anything that doesn't feel good. You want to release anything that you feel is uh, grabbing your attention and not allowing you to be fully focused on your divine good. Write those things down on a piece of paper. Then, another dear God, you're going to write a letter. Dear God, for 2021, I am claiming these wonderful things and events in my life. And then you write down the things that you want. See, you're going to create a void in your consciousness when you burn up the things that no longer serve you. And you want to go ahead and pack that back full of good. So you want to write down the things that you are claiming for yourself in this year. Write that down. Put it in a uh, self-addressed envelope to yourself. If you want to put a stamp on it, that'd be awesome. Um, and then bring those as well on Saturday. You'll give those to us. We're going to hold on to them. We're going to pray on them regularly. And, uh, and then I like in July to mail them back so that you have time to kind of look at it and do a check-in of where you are and, and maybe remind yourself of this activity, this exercise, and, and do some more consciousness work on it you know, halfway through the year. So that is the plan. Now you will come on Saturday to Country Park, which if you come off of Pisgah Church and onto Forest Lawn and then it puts you on J.C. Park, and you want to drive to the deepest part of that parking lot because you're in J.C. Park and you're ultimately going, you're going to walk. You're going to park in the J.C. Park parking lot and then you have to walk in and there's a map that we have put in an email that went out on Friday and is going to go out again on this Friday. So you're going to go to Shelter 7. We will start burning at 11 a.m. We'll say a short little prayer 
and then invite people one at a time to come and burn their list. If you cannot make it, but you want to be a part of our burning bowl, you can email your list to me at Rev Wally White, like Reverend, Rev Wally White at gmail.com, and I will print your list out and individually say a prayer for you and burn your list. And um, so let's do this together. If you can't come and don't and want still want to burn it yourself, then find your most fire safe way to do that. If you have a fireplace, you can burn it in your fireplace. If you don't have a fireplace, but you got a safe place outside that's open, you're not going to start any fires, uh, you know, take a metal bowl or something that's safe and then burn your piece of paper in that. Um, be responsible to, you know, the community that you're a part of and figuring out the, the safest way to burn and burn it for yourself. But if you want to be a part of what we're going to do on... Saturday, January the 9th at 11 a.m. in Shelter 7 at Country Park. You cannot drive into Country Park on the weekend. If you have any kind of physical restrictions that makes that a problem, please let me know and I will call them to see if they have uh, any exceptions to that rule. But their standard rule is that on the weekends, their gates are closed for foot traffic only. So you will park in J.C. Park off of Pisgah Church, onto Forest Lawn, into J.C. Park. You will park there and walk in. I love you. I bless you. I look forward to seeing you on Saturday or being with you in spirit. Take care.